Hey everyone, welcome back to new video of Cyprosis. In this video, we are going to discuss about the receipt reminder in Odo 17. In business settings, a receipt reminder is a notification sent to a vendor reminding about the expected delivery date and requesting confirmation of the receipt. So let's see how can we manage the receipt reminder in Odo 17 purchase module. So in order to manage with the receipt reminder, first we need to enable the outgoing mail server. For that, you can just move on to the settings of Odoo and you can just search for the outgoing mail server where you need to configure an outgoing mail server to send the notifications. So here you can see that we have just enabled the uh, custom email server. Now we need to just configure the outgoing mail server. And here I have already set an outgoing mail server uh, with its name and you can set the priority as one and set the authenticate with as username. Now you can just provide the connection encryption as SSL TSL and uh, you can just provide the SMTP server as smtp.gmail.com and as you just said the SSL TSL the port uh, number will be automatically configured and you can set the username uh, over here so that the mail will be sending um, from this and you can also provide the password over here. So in order to get this password you can just move on to the uh, mail of uh, the uh, username that you have given and if you have any doubt regarding how to set the outgoing mail server please do check the video because we have already published a video on how to set outgoing mail server now let's see how can we manage with the receipt reminder in order to manage with the receipt reminder let's move on to the purchase module and in the purchase module uh, we need to just move to the configuration settings because we need to enable the receipt reminder so here we have already enabled the receipt reminder and this would automatically remind the receipt date to your vendor. So once you have made changes in the configuration settings, you can save the changes and let's move on to the orders and let's create a new RFQ. Here you can just click on new and you can choose your vendor. And I'm going to choose my vendor and here you can um, choose the product that you want to purchase. And uh, you can set the number of quantities, unit price and everything. And here you can see the order deadline and expected arrival. So here I'm going to set the order deadline as 29 and expected arrival of the product is also on 29. Now you can also enable the ask confirmation and we will be enabling one day before this. Once you save uh, the uh, details in the RFQ here, you can see that you can just send the notification um, reminder by sending an email yourself. So just click on the I button and uh, once you send that, you would be able to find a notification over here that you have sent a sample email has been sent to admin at your email.com. Now uh, let's move on to the mail. And here you can see that we have just received a mail uh, and here is a reminder that the delivery of the purchase order is uh, expected to receive on 29, 2024. And could you please confirm? Um, and it will be delivered on time. So that is the confirmation mail. And you can also find an attachment over here that shows all the uh, details over here, like uh, the address, the RFQ with its reference number, uh, the purchase representative and uh, the description uh, such as the uh, the product details, the taxes and all other details will be shown over here. Now let's move on to the um, Odoo platform itself and let's confirm the order. And yeah, now we can just uh, receive the item. So you can just click on validate and you can just uh, check the quality of the product. And finally, you can just receive the item into the stock. So this is how we manage with the receipt reminder in Odoo 17. So I hope this concept is clear for you and uh, this clarifies how to set the receipt reminder in Odoo 17. So if you want any Odoo customization or any tutorials regarding Odoo, feel free to contact Cyprosis. So thank you for watching the video.